In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can create a passive income fast using the power of artificial intelligence to create and sell coloring books. With just a few clicks, you'll be able to generate some amazing coloring pages that you can then put together into a coloring book and publish on Amazon KDP. And make sure you stay tuned until the end. This video is going to be packed with tips and tricks you are not going to want to miss. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is determine a good niche for our coloring book. To do this, I'm going to utilize two free Chrome extensions from Self-Publishing Titans. These extensions are 100% free to use and I'll leave a link in the description. But once you have your extensions installed and you're ready to search in Amazon, you can start with a general search related to our topic. So I'll simply type in Adult Coloring Book. And as you can see, the first extension will generate an expanded list of search results when normally Amazon will only suggest 10 search terms max here. And just a quick note, the more suggestions that pop up here, the better as this is an indicator that this topic is being searched often with a variety of terms. Well, then if we click on one of these suggestions, the second Chrome extension will begin to provide you with an overall keyword niche score. Ideally, we want this niche score to be above 50, and if you can find one above 60, you have an excellent starting point. So I'm just going to keep selecting from the suggestions until I find a niche score above 50. But as you can see, after some time searching through the suggestions, I have landed on Bold Art Coloring Book Large Print Designs, which gives me a score of 55, which is the best that I have found, so I'm going to proceed. If you're interested in a further breakdown on how to use this tool, I'll leave a link in the description to a tutorial video. And also, just to verify that a coloring book in this niche will rank in search, I will scroll through these top suggestions and make sure there's a relatively new publication from an independent publisher that has managed to rank for this search term and show up here in the top results. And as you can see, there is indeed a new publication here from February 17th, 2023 from an independent publisher, which means they were able to rank with these keywords and show up here with a new book in this niche. Now I'm going to click into this listing and take a better look around and gather some more inspiration for creating my own coloring book in a similar fashion. Please don't copy anybody word for word as that would not be okay. This is purely for collecting information. From here, I like to copy the most relevant information and paste it into a document for a quick reference. Okay, now that we have selected a good niche and have a solid idea of what we want to create, we can move on to the fun part, generating our unique coloring pages in Midjourney. Now, if you're not familiar with Midjourney, check out the link in my description to learn how to get started. And as a quick disclaimer, you will need to purchase one of Midjourney's subscription plans to be able to sell these images commercially. So now once you're here in Midjourney and ready to produce images, we want to set some preset preferences for your prompts. This tip is going to greatly enhance the speed of your workflow creating these coloring pages. So to set some preferences, we need to enter forward slash and find the preferred options set. Now in the options box, we are going to name this set of commands. I'm going to name this command crisp. Now once you've named your option set, click out of the box and it will bring up the option value. Click here and this is where we're going to enter our prompt shortcut. I'm going to enter coloring pages, crisp lines, mandala, white background with a negative prompt of no shading as well as an aspect ratio of 2 by 3. And now you no longer need to type in all of these parameters every time you want to create a new image. They are set to the command that you chose. Now I'm going to refer to the information gathered from the listing that I stored in my docs. And you see here the listing that I chose to emulate includes animals, nature, flowers, birds, country scenes, intricate designs of animals like butterflies, cats, dogs, and horses. So I'm going to start creating a variety of images with simple commands using these keywords. So for example, I will simply use the word bird then dash dash crisp which i set as my command and as you can see all the parameters that we set were included in this prompt quickly and easily now you simply repeat the process until you have 24 coloring pages that you're happy with as this is the minimum needed to publish your book on amazon kdp okay once you have all your images upscaled and saved to your computer we can move on to the next step now the fine lines would most likely end up blurry if we use these pictures directly from mid journey so first we need to vectorize this image which will greatly enhance the quality of the final printed product for this we're going to utilize vectorizer.ai again this is 100 percent free and there's a link in the description once you're here you simply drag and drop anywhere on this page and it will vectorize your image now if i zoom in you can see the difference in the clarity and the crispness of the lines now you simply repeat the process for all 24 of your images and also make sure you export this as a PNG as Canva does not like to accept an SVG format. And again, Canva is also 100% free and you can find a link in the description. Once you're here, you want to search coloring pages, then select create a blank coloring page. And once you have all your images downloaded into Canva, we can begin creating the interior of our coloring book. Now, once again, I'm going to refer to the listing on Amazon to get a better idea of what I need to include in my book. 
So here they have a belongs to page as well as a color testing page and then it moves on to normal coloring pages. And just really quickly, I would like to encourage you to smash that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. Okay, let's hop back into Canva and finish building this coloring book. So I'm just going to build these first two pages from the options here in Canva. Now, if you don't have a paid plan with Canva, then you can just avoid the images with the little crowns at the bottom right corner. And another quick tip, you want to leave a blank page in between all of your images to prevent any bleed through. Now, once you've repeated this process and have at least 24 pages in your coloring book, we're ready to move on to creating our book's cover. You're going to need to visit Amazon KDP now and input all the necessary details. Then you'll be directed to this print cover calculator and template page. Now, just finish entering the details here and it'll give you the dimensions necessary for the cover of your book. Mine are 17.367 inches by 11.25 inches. And now that we have the dimensions we need for Canva, we're ready to go generate our cover image. So we can hop back into mid journey. This time, I'm just going to type in a cute dog, vivid colors, crisp line art on a black background with an aspect ratio of two by three. And as you can see, Mid Journey comes through with a win again, creating some amazing images that we can now use for our coloring books cover. So let's hop back into Canva and create a new design using the measurements gathered from Amazon KDP earlier. And don't forget to run this image to the vectorizer.ai and export again as a PNG. So now we simply drag and drop our image and place it correctly on the right side of the template. Be sure you make it fit properly. Then I'm going to add a title here as well as a short description on the back side with three sample coloring pages. And that's basically it. You are now ready to publish your new coloring book on Amazon. And just to show you that this is real and I'm not just demonstrating, I'm going to actually publish this book myself. So let's walk through the final steps of getting the book published. We're going to publish without an ISBN as we don't need it for a low content book. This is going to be a black and white interior with a white paper. I'm going to select no bleed with a glossy cover and here's where you will upload your manuscript of the interior pages that we created in Canva. Then here I'm going to upload my cover. Then it will allow you to launch the previewer. So let's check it out. As you can see, all the pictures and text are within the margin. So I'm happy with this. I'll click through the pages now and everything looks good here. So I'm going to approve. Then I will save and continue. Now the last thing we need to do is set the price. I'm going to price mine at $6.99. And that's it. You are now able to publish your book on Amazon. If you made it to the end of the video, I want to thank you so much for watching. And I want to give a huge shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you all so much for the support. And I will see you in the next video.